we are certainly in a period of divergence. Divergence in terms of where policy is starting from, divergence in growth rates, divergence between emerging markets and developed markets. There was a time not so long ago where it seemed like most of the global macro economy was very well synchronized. Um, that is clearly not the case today. And what's interesting is in the fragmentation that you see across developed markets and across emerging markets, there's clear differences in starting positions. The U.S. has started by tightening policy much earlier than, say, the ECB, which is talking about it now, but talking about it and doing are very different things. When we um, explore where China has been and China's path over the past couple of quarters, they started tightening policy much earlier on and now are actually at the point of considering loosening policy as well. So you see big divergences across these major developed market blocks. So the US versus Europe versus UK versus Japan, um, and also emerging markets, which are very different groups amongst themselves versus China. Broadly speaking, between developed markets and emerging markets, our th thinking is, is that big picture, developed markets can probably weather this storm better as a whole. Emerging markets have a couple of points of weakness that, that need to be explored. The first is COVID. Yes, we, we still need to be talking about COVID, about what proportion of, of the population uh, has been exposed to it, the efficacy of vaccines, what the lockdown situations and other containment measures look like. Those vary drastically between emerging markets and developed markets. We also need to be talking about the commodity situation. Um, emerging markets are both commodity importers and, and exporters. Depending on which commodities we're referring to, their economies may be more sensitive, more geared to what's happening in the commodity environment and so are also more geared to what's happening with, with inflation. And then lastly, let's not forget that right now we're in a period of dollar strength uh, and the currency matters for emerging markets and that's another headwind for emerging markets. So for these few reasons, and there's, there's a lot more behind them as well, we see this divergence between the fate, at least in the short term, of emerging market economies and developed market economies.